So before working with Raquel, I had this vision in my mind of one thing that I ended up totally hating and going in a completely different direction. Like I'm talking 180. So my life has been pretty crazy. I've been through all types of shit. For 28 years of my life, I was completely asleep. I had big dreams and big goals and also this soul calling, but I didn't know how to even like navigate it through. The feeling that I got from her was she is so committed to her clients on a deep level. I had this overwhelming feeling of unmet potential. I had all of these goals, all these things I've always wanted to do with my life. I was constantly overwhelmed, constantly stressed out. Um, I'm already gonna cry. We're like two seconds into this. I actually dreamed of starting my business for years. Like I've had this idea for a really long time and I just didn't know how to even begin. Before I met Mikkel, when I was still asleep, I had no idea what I wanted to do. When you grow up, schools are like, what are you gonna be when you grow up? It's like, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I didn't love who I was. I didn't love a lot about me and I had a ton a ton of guilt and a ton of shame. She helped me so much, like conquer that, that self-love issue that I had. I wouldn't have gone after what I wanted to had we not done that first. As we were building out this program, we focused on one thing that week to build out and we built it fully. There was no like shortcutting any of it. It was, this is what we're building out and we're gonna build it out from A to Z so you feel ready. I have my program. I also have one-on-one -on -one clients. My masterclass, which is really all about helping women to tune in with the natural rhythms of their soul and body. Many mothers transitioning through divorce are feeling paralyzed by fear of becoming a single parent. So I created a signature process so that they can live a peaceful life that they love and recognize for themselves and their children. That feeling deep down that I could impact a grander scale. And that's why I went to Mikkel because I knew that she was the one that's going to push me and create what I needed to in order to reach the audience that is needed and, and wanting that help through that process as well. So if somebody had given me the big picture and said, go create this, I wouldn't know what the hell to do. But Mikkel breaks it down into like, hey, step one, we're gonna do this. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's easy. I can go do that. Steps one through six are done. It's like, boom, you've got this program. And next thing you know, you're like, holy shit. In the first couple of weeks of working with Mikkel, I wrote a letter to myself of all the things that I wanted to accomplish and then use this as a basis to refine the program that we created together. The biggest change that I'm most proud of is stepping out of the spiritual closet. If you don't feel good about yourself and you have confidence issues or you don't truly love yourself, then you're not gonna take the plunge into really, truly and fully going after your dreams. It's one thing to have your goals, but it's another thing to overcome the little things that pop up that really, I think, stop most people with their mindset or with things from their past. So she gave me the gift of finding me. <laughs> and that's like the best tool that she could have ever given me was for me to actually learn how to sit down and let my thoughts come up and decide, does that thought help me? Does that empower me or disempower me? And if I don't want it there, I get the choice. Even though there's fear around that sometimes, having Mikkel hold my, kind of hold my hand through that, but giving me the permission that it's okay, that, that has been huge for me. She helped me see my heart in a different scope. She helped me see my drive from a different angle. She helped me see the power that I have from within. She really helped bring out my inner warrior and my inner king more than I ever thought before. One thing that I loved about Mikkel was, you know, she could keep it business, and personal, but it was like I was talking to one of my closest and dearest friends every time we talked. Michael, I just want to say thank you. I couldn't have done any of this without you, and I don't even mean just like achieving the goals of my business, but I mean like achieving goals with the way that I love myself. To be vulnerable with someone and to know that they're just there for you still, no matter what. To show someone all oh, you're ugly and they were still there and they still like loved you, you're like, what the hell? So many weeks, Mikkel was like, put your blinders on. <laughs> you need to finish this and focus, which I needed. I needed that anchoring. Otherwise, I wouldn't have anything to show you <laughs> in this call. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being my soul sister, for helping me create everything I've created and I'm going to cry. I just genuinely want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, from everything within my soul, with everything within my being, for being you for holding space for me when I was at some of my darkest places with just different things, uh, reminding me of why I'm here and I love you to pieces and I really miss you a lot. And with that said, I'm also here for you as well. On days where I didn't feel like I was, it would just be like random and she would send me a text like, hey, I just want to let you know. Uh, like 
how beautiful you are and how amazing you are and like you're doing such a good job for your girls. You don't see people out there doing that, like loving what they do and being as committed as she is. And so I just love her.